Police are expecting to arrest more than just Nelson. Midtowners who've been robbed telling police at least three more suspects need to be caught. And when we say they felt terrorized, it is not an exaggeration. The crimes often happened in broad daylight. One victim telling us tonight about being held at gunpoint. Rebecca Butcher is here now after also talking to a tactical training expert. Rebecca. Well, Zachary Stewart says he and his fiance were walking on Young Avenue when three men jumped out of a white SUV, forcing them both to get on the ground face down while pointing a revolver at his head, stripping them of most of their belongings. Stewart says he wasn't carrying that day, but he has every day since. Zachary Stewart is beyond grateful. I punched in the back of the head uh, and then told him he didn't punch very hard. And uh, I got kicked in the face a couple of times. So I had a little black eye for a couple of days. After a walk with his soon to be wife for lunch took a terrifying turn. And it was very like eye opening when you kind of get that tunnel vision. Tunnel vision on a revolver and two Glocks, one with an extended mag. After making sure his fiance Kylie was safely on the ground. I was even going to advance towards them just to kind of put myself in between her and them. Um, and then she grabbed my leg. It was like I could just tell she was like, don't. This is not the time or the place. Then deciding. Even if I was armed or tried to draw, when you already have three guns pointing at you, there's not too much you can do at that point. Yeah, so clearly she knows you're willing to jump in front of a bullet for her. Absolutely. She better know. <laughs> if she wants that ring, she better know. He shares before the group drove off. They dropped the tagline, Black Lives Matter, which I think is being used more as an excuse these days to like as a justification for why they're doing this. Police tell us BLM wasn't shouted at any other victims, including an elderly black woman who was attacked and robbed later that day. Five dollars stolen from her. Three days later, a man was robbed in the neighborhood. Then just 15 minutes after that, a woman sitting in her car fell victim too. People are reminded that they individually are vulnerable. When you're ready to fire, just break the shot from there. Nearby in East Memphis, I met up with Jonathan Cross, the owner of Dauntless Tactical Training. He says more people are calling to learn how to defend themselves. His best advice for the public, don't be a soft target. Even if you're not prepared, you need to do things to project that you are prepared. Don't don't pretend like you don't see them. Let people know you see them. And this couple has actually already been taking Jiu-Jitsu classes, preparing themselves, and Kylie Stewart's fiance, her dad, is on the police force and closely working on this case. Richard?